Hello and welcome to a video on some view options and stuff with inside of InView. Uh, so I get a lot of questions about how can I change the background? What are some of my options? So we're just going to kind of go through some of that today. So let's just go grab something from our library and we'll get maybe a folding carton and go to InView and let's just grab this here. So we'll open it up in InView. And so you can see by default when you install the software, you're in what we call our environment. So the background is a 3D environment and you can change it. So let's say you want to do something different. We can right click on the background and go to view options here. When you go to view options, you'll see we're in the environment and we have a few different environments that you can pick. Like here is a, you know, a background where you're kind of out in the mountains. There's some others. Um, but if we go back here, I kind of like a solid color and so we have a whole color scheme on this and you can pick colors or customize your colors or whatever you want and so I've kind of got this general color that looks good with um, uh, both dark and light items and you can change it that way or let's say you're trying to do some sort of presentation and you want a background that has maybe an image so like I went to Dolby stock and I um, found an image and I threw it in here to my uh, different items I have in here. Like there's a Women's Day item I downloaded. Uh, you know, here's a tennis court. Um, so you can you can come in here and, and change that. And what's nice is when you go to upload your item onto Shared Space, it'll have that background image. Um, so here was the latest one I just got. I got something free, this beer background for some of the beer projects we do. And so maybe you wanted to take your package and you know, present it, set it on the shelf over here and whatever, then then you can do that. Let's go back to the view options here. And oh, by the way, when you do that, let me grab um, older here. And where you end up is you go to the, the package designer folder and under shared settings, material resources, EV images and backdrop. This is where you drop in your image. And so you can Create whatever you want, put your own pictures in here, whatever you'd like to have in the background. This is where you'd throw it. All right, so let's go ahead and um, go back. I'm going to put my solid background on, solid color. So one of the other things that I get questions on is, you know, if you want to change um, like these dimension view lines here, this is the 2D. We go to Tools, Options and dimensions and then you can pick your text size here um the, the the font all these kind of things you can even adjust the arrows and everything and that will adjust the font sizes here but on the 3d it's different so let's say that we go to dimensions and we turn on dimensions for this and if we want to change those numbers this is where you right click you go to view options you click on dimensions and then this box here this is where you can choose what color would I like my dimension line to be. So let's just, um, I don't know, let's make them dark blue and then let's make them bigger. So let's go right now, they're 24, so let's make them 28. And then this is the font, so we'll say okay. And now those dimensions are, are in a different color and they're bigger. Um, same thing if we come in here and we then change the, the lines themselves. Let's make those dark blue. And um, then we can change any of the sizes, the, the thickness that we want, different things. And then you can also make it the, the text zoomable too. So let's go ahead and say, okay. So now you'll see that those are in blue here. And then if I zoom in, notice the dimension line is changing with it. If I turn the zoomable, where did you go at? Oop, dimensions, turn zoomable text off. Okay, now when I zoom in, see it's staying the same font size. So that's a couple of like quick tips and tricks on that. One last thing let's just talk about is some exporting. So let's say that you get your, you know, 3D item. Let's just bring something cool in. So we go over to AI. I'm gonna bring in this project here. And sometimes people want to say, hey, you know, I'd like to take this 3D object and I'd like to put it in a PowerPoint or a brochure or something like that. But you've got a number of import export options. And um, so like if we're on this tab here and I go to file and I say export, OK, then under this here, I get a whole bunch of um, different, you know, this is for the 2D. So 
all kinds of file formats, JPEG, TIFF, uh, PDF, uh, some CAD formats, everything under the sun. But then kind of the same thing when I go back to 3D here um, and I want to export to a file. By the way, I can get there here also, or I can get to the file menu and I'll say file. Now from here, um, I might want to put out like a, a PNG file and it's going to be at the orientation that I'm at. And then here I can either choose what kind of background I want, what um, resolution. But if I have a transparent background, then it'll knock the background out for us. And so let's just save this. Uh, I think I already did it earlier. So let's call this uh, three. All right. We'll hit save. So now um, we drop over to our work directory here and we open up that file. Naturally, when I'm on my other screen. But anyway, now you can see. Now it's not a 3D, it's just a 3D image. It's not a 3D object. Um, but that's how you can drop out an image to maybe use in a brochure or something like that. Also, if you wanted to create a movie, I think I have another video on that, but it's the same thing. You'd come up here, we could now export to file, and we've got all kinds of options. I mean, this was a a TIFF, but we can put out a 3D GLB file. We can kick our own movie out. All those different options are here. You just got to kind of look through the list. What do you want? And then if you want to go to the cloud shared space, it's the same thing. Now we click here, hold, because there's a little down arrow. So we get a couple options. Then we'd go to shared space. And then on this, we can then go drop it up in the cloud. There's another video on that, but it's pretty straightforward. And then you can choose the scenes and what you want. So some just some quick navigation. Always remember in any of these menus, if you click help, you're going to get help directly from that menu. So it'll come in here and it'll help you understand, you know, exactly what to do and it'll it'll guide you through it. So the, the help is really good in here. It's part of how I learned how to use the software by playing around and, you know, also using the internal help. But hopefully you found this useful. Um, you know, if you need any other questions or anything else, let us know. We're happy to help. Thank you.